Um, so the cab forward is, for all intents and purposes, in the game. And I'm talking about in the game. The rea in reality, it's slightly different for Kettler Fish, but in the game, it's basically a double-headed steam loco. Now, in reality, you've got um, all this stuff going on. Let's put some brakes on, shall we? And not do the roly roly thing. Right, so we can ignore all of that stuff going off on the background. It's interesting, but it doesn't affect us too much. Um, brakes are all pretty much as standard. Um, so we've got this. This is your brake. You've got um, your throttle, which is there. Oh, that's a loco brake, you wally. There you go. There's your throttle. There's your throttle here. Uh, we've got windows which we can open. Uh, can you open these ones? Yep, yeah, you can open these ones as well. Hi, my name is Dahl. What is yours? My name is Matt. Thank you very much. Thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. So some people said to me, "How how do you open? There's no wipers. How how do you work? You you know what?" They just had to deal with it. What they do is open it up and just let the rain come in, or they would stick the head out the window on the side. They do this, yeah. It it really is um, an early thing. The idea was basically these long steam engines, and this really is just a steam engine flipped around. Um, it meant that they could drive much more safely from the front, seeing what was going on. Um, right. So let's get going. That's the that's the cut off. Release the brakes and get some power on. So firing controls are essentially these down here. So this is your live steam injector. This is your um You're not gonna tell me are you? There we go, live steam injector steam and water. So this gets water in. And then this is the uh, fuel lever. And this controls the uh, level of um oil being put into the uh into the train. struggling to start on this hill. We're getting there now though. Thank you for the tip there, Rob Allen. James1260 says, Also, there was a fear of smoke inhalation with larger locos in tunnels. Again, that's another problem that you eliminate with these, uh, with these ones. So I'm going to do this from the HUD. And we're going to have a look at the F5 screen up here. So if we look at the HUD, currently it says the firebox is at... 72%, 71%, and we're showing 717 pounds. Water says it's at 89%, but under F5 view it's at 90%. 89%, 90%, up here. I'm using this for the F5 key, so if you turn the HUD off, yeah, and then use the F5 key to cycle through this value, you can see that up here, these numbers don't match up. This is saying 88, and this is saying, oh, this is just said 88. Now eventually they will get very out of sync. And the reason is because it's an issue with double-heading steam locomotives. So when you're driving this train, you want to be pressing that button and then watching up here to see what's going on with the loco. So it's just gone up to 88%. So you'll get times in here where you press this button and that carries on going down. And it's because that 84% returns refers to a different loco than the one on um, in fact, it's gone down again, looks, it's gone down to 83%. We're actually up to 91% on our steam loco. This is kind of a problem with a double-headed. And now I'm over-speeding somewhat. That's all right. It soon slow down. Right, so we're at 95% on the water. 647 pounds. Let's get some fuel in. So we're just loading that back up. I'm just watching the steam generation rate because we, we're running relatively evenly as we put fuel in 
and we can watch the steam generation rate is still going up as we put fire mass in. At some point, the steam generation rate is going to tank very quickly, and that's when we know we can we've hit the uh, the peak. There it is. It's found it. So it's 80 percent. Sorry, 815 pounds is about our most efficient place for uh, doing this. Someone just asked what the pew pew sound was. It's these two things here which are related to the air brakes if I remember rightly and it's just completely random at least as far as the game is concerned. Right, so let's speed up a little bit. There we go, back up to 25. We have the green signal over here. So again, if we watch here, we're at 90% on the water here. 75% is the water down here. So ignore these two numbers entirely and only watch the ones on the F5 when you're driving these. And what you'll find is the loco behaves significantly better. Uh, copper off and is this or was this a big boy? No, but it is an evolution of the design, I think. Or another option that was explored. Right, so we're at 89% water, 767 fire up the uh, coal again. Again we'll watch the steam generation rate and you'll find that eventually, it, there you go, it's tanking again. So again, 812 pounds is where we need to balance out at. Put some more water in. So if we keep the fire mass at, at a good level, we keep the engine running smoothly and efficiently and we keep plenty of steam in, in the system. If you need to start putting lots of water in, that's when you're going to run out of a when run into a major problem. No, it's also our boiler pressure is 247, whereas over here it's floating all over the place. 247.5. These numbers, are, again, are not matching up. And everything on here is yours, so just use what's on here. Right. Off and just overfilled a little bit. Put the cylinder cocks open with a C key. So now we hit the first of our banks. Let's get the coal back on again. Remember, we want to be at about 800 for maximum uh, efficiency on the firebox. So we'll go up to about 850 so that it comes back to being it. I said 8.50, didn't I? Let's go up to 8.50. That's it. And now as it slows down, so it'll actually become more efficient for a little while until it gets down to about 8.15. Alright, so we're on our way up the hill now. We've quite happily got plenty of... Uh, just realised, I've been driving all this time on full cutoff and release and brake and release. That's that's how efficient this loco can be when you drive it well. I mean, the only way you can do that is by watching the F5 screen up here. Boiler pressure shooting back up. We're managing, we're actually accelerating 19.3 and we're still going up. Cameron's gaming, do you open the cylinder cocks when stationary or moving? Um, the, the basic rule is if you stand, you let the loco, as soon as you stop, open the cylinder cocks. Once you start moving, leave them open for about 10 revolutions of the wheels and then close them again. Right, let's get more uh, more fire mass building up. See the steam generation rates going up nicely. Get that up to about 8.20. Wow, that is a long way down. That doesn't look unsafe at all, does it? That seems like a it seems perfectly legitimate idea. Run 
around over here and grab a screenshot while we're here. Victor says Germany also has a loco like this. Um, yeah, I think just about every railroad around the world tried cab forward designs. Uh, in the UK, they went with a thing called the Leader, um, which was their th their concept for it. But uh, again, it didn't work very well. Right, so we're on a 1.8% gradient. We're actually running away with the speed now. Let's get some water in getting them down to 0.7 again do not use these little percentage numbers they're not going to go they will lead you astray down to 770 to get the firebox filling back up again little and often keeps everything running smooth Ray Dog wants to see the cab view here you go this is the cab view you've got your your firebox is the boiler um, behind you. This is the engineer's side. This is the fireman's and conductor's side. Alright, we've put way too much fire in. How's the water? Way too water's doing alright. you go so that's basically this is the that's the gist of driving the cab forward is to always use the f5 key you, you're just not going to be you can't drive it from these values on the hud you've got to use these values up here on the f5 screen to get the accurate um, controls um, otherwise it's uh, yeah it's gonna it will lead you astray and you'll be waiting thinking i don't need to put water in right now um, or i don't need to put coal in Oh, sorry, oil in this case, if I remember rightly. Um, and in actual fact, you're desperately in need of it. Right, we're accelerating nicely. So you get a good head of pressure in the boiler. You can uh, um, you can make your way up these hills, no trouble at all. Right, where are we doing? I think I might just stop at this next signal and call it a day at that. So that basically is how to drive the cab forward. Um, so like I said, one more time, the key is, so if you press, so you've got F3, F4, if you then switch F4 off and you press F5 a couple of times, you'll get the full HUD, and then, oh, sorry, the oh, debug HUD essentially, and then you can see, make sure you're looking at the right values up here, uh, and then you'll be able to work out why your, uh, your loco isn't working. So I'm just gonna stop the train here and leave it there. There we go. Right, that is... Bob wants another cue. There you go, lots of horns. Right, there you go. That's driving the cab forward. That was about all I really wanted to, uh, to cover on the cab forward. I hope that's useful. Uh, this time for our last scenario now. So let me switch back to there.